Hey folks, it's another crew review. We're kind of reviewing uh, the rocket machines once again to freshen it all up for you guys. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And this is the R58 double boiler from, as I said, Rocket in Milano, Italy. So um, double boiler means that you can brew and steam at the same time. It also means that you can control the temperature of each one of those boilers to be more precise with the, t the temperature of your steaming, if you choose, and the temperature of your brewing water at the brew head. Kind of nice. Let's go over what comes with the machine first. The typical double and single portafilters, double spout, single spout, right here. Come on. The ever popular manual that Rocket puts out that has every machine that they make in it and various languages. And so this is a nice thick binder uh, manual. I think they do a pretty good job comparatively. Micro soft rag for shining up all this highly polished stainless steel casing. A blind basket for doing your back flushing, some cleaning tablets. A brush, and this would be a brew head brush. This would be one of the first things I would upgrade, and we have some really nice ones on our website. It's okay, but it's, you know. And then a, um, a drive that has the manual on it, a USB that you can plug into your computer and review the manual. So that's kind of nice. Very much smaller than carrying this around in your back pocket. So, as I mentioned, stainless steel casing all around. Very nice drip tray that comes out. And this machine is actually plumbable or water tank. So the nice thing is that you can access a drain in the water tank as well. So that's nice too. It's got your uh, multi-level legs uh, so that you can either lower it a little bit or up high like it is right now. And there's a section in there that unscrews and comes out. This is the valve for your hot water dispenser right here. This is the lever to engage the machine to make it brew. And it has a rotary pump, which is a little bit quieter, as you can hear. Very nice. And then if it was plumbed in and you put it in that position, you get a nice pre-infusion. When it's not plumbed in, it's not going to work quite as good. Go down. Steam over here with an anti-burn steam wand, and it comes with the two-hole tip. And when we say anti-burn steam wand, it's still going to be hot when you get down steam, especially as you go further down the steam arm. And what this really means, anti-burn, is it's not going to be nearly as hot as a conventional one. And it gives you a little more time to take that damp bar cloth and wipe it off and get it nice and clean, and that's very important. E61 brew head, which means that you have hot water running through the brew head all the time, siphoning through to keep it at a consistent temperature, which, as we've talked about before, if it's too hot, it will be uh, bitter shots, and if it's too cold, it'll be sour shots. So consistency and temperature is very important, along with the grind, of course. Down here, you have two manometers. This one over here shows uh, what's going on, the pressure inside the boiler, and you want it to be between 1 and 1.5, which is that green area. And over here, this shows you what's going on as you're brewing. If that needle pops up into the green zone, which is nine, between 9 and 10, and stays in that zone while it's brewing, that means the grind of your coffee is probably pretty good. Uh, but of course, what the results are, how does it taste? That's really what's important different temperatures for different coffees. That's why they give you the option of changing the uh, PID. Speaking of the PID, this is it right here. And you can change the brew boiler temperature. You can change the what they call the service boiler, which is the steam boiler temperature. And you can turn the uh, steam boiler on or off as well. And you can also do centigrade or Fahrenheit, your choice. And once you make those uh, changes, and set it all up. You can unplug it like I just did by accident and it unplugs out of the machine as well. Well, it's screwed in there right now, but it unplugs out of the machine, put it in the drawer, the machine will save all those settings, which is kind of nice. Uh, nice metal cup rail comes with it, nice sides. I like the straight sides myself, although the Geodo is a pretty nice machine too with the curved size. Water tank right back here, which is uh, 2.5 liters. 
And then also I am going to show you the inside of the machine. I'm going to lift the lid. So let me get the screws out and we'll be right back and we'll show lifting the lid. So we got the lid off. Didn't want to have to bore you with that. We don't recommend that you do this because this will void your warranty. But I'm doing it to just show you what the internals look like. Lots of copper tubing, just like you would see in a uh, commercial machine. Um, also, right here is the brew boiler, which is 0.58 liters. And right here is the steam boiler, which is always larger, and it is 1.7 liters. Uh, all the, you know, there's all kinds of wires and stuff in here, and I won't bore you with any of the details on that control board. But way down in here is that rotary pump, which I'm pointing at right there. That is a much bigger pump than the vibratory pump, and it actually is more rugged. It will last longer. Will it last a lot of the years longer? No, but you might get one or two years more out of it. Uh, it's just a more robust uh, uh, pump. So, so that's where the water tank sits down on, and also see that little brass uh, bolt down in there. That's the sensor that tells the machine whether there's water there or not. If you are using water that is distilled, that has no minerals in it, that will not work. It senses the minerals in the water. So you don't want distilled water, you want something that's like spring water that has a little bit of minerals in it. And if the light is blinking on the front of the machine, that means that you don't have any water or your water is too filtered. So that's the machine on the inside. Uh, let me button it back up and we'll make a drink. Okay, so we're back. We've got our milk. We've got our coffee. And today we have Quill's Blacksmith Espresso Blend. And I, I played around with it to dial in the Faustino, which we're using today. And it tastes pretty darn good. So let's get our coffee ready. One of the nice features about the Faustino is you can pause it, shake down that mound that you got going on to level it off and then start again. Then I'm going to interrupt it because I got too much. It's, the timing is just a little bit off, but hey, who's counting? I know you guys are, right? Okey I've got my cup up here, and because I put it up there, my glass, it's actually keeping it nice and warm, so my drink will be good. And like I said, I can brew and steam at the same time. That doesn't mean it's going to be good. I just said the machine can do it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get any condensation out of the um, steam arm that might be there. Because you don't want that in the milk, and that's going to happen regardless. You are going to have that steam condensation. For you guys out there that aren't used to steaming milk in the beginning, I would say uh, use a thermometer to get the temperature proper. What the heck, right? Gives you the best chance of getting the best results. And then once you get used to it by feel from your hand, the tactile, you'll get used to it. Whoa, look at that. Nice. That doesn't mean I'm going to make art, but nice. Oh, my usual. Oh, and I spilled a little, too. Mm-mm-mm. That's all right. Cheers. Yum. Mm-mm-mm. That's really nice. Real nice. I really should set, take a little bit of time and have John show me some latte art techniques and see if I can't 
try one more time. I've only been trying now for about 13 years. What's the rush? Oh, and the tamper comes with it too. I don't think I mentioned that, this tamper. So that's the R50A from Rocket, dual boiler. I think it's a really nice machine with a PID so you can have all the control that you want. Uh, and check it out on our website. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and any questions you have down below, post them and we'll try to get the answers to you or give us a jingle. Cheers and thanks a lot for watching.